Are you kidding me? Howdy everybody and welcome to this edition of the Mad Squirrel. I'm Navigamer and today we're checking out how navigation and technologies in cooperation with Scornist, the hidden camera detector, uh, the X13. And as you can see, I was kind of shocked to see that one of the cameras that was off was showing on. And I don't know if it was recording or not, but either way, it was sending a signal. And one of the things that I like about this product that they're letting me review today, shout out to Scornist and to our friends at Ohio Navigation and Technology. Also, want to shout out to Sharks and Shirts at Poshmark. Check out Sharks in the letter N, shirts, all one word, Sharks and Shirts for today's apparel, along with some other new apparel. Don't forget to run over and check them out and check out Poshmark in general for great deals on uh, fashion and clothing, accessories and what have you. You name it, everything from Adidas to Coach to uh, Kate Spade to Prada to you name it. You can get fantastic deals on Poshmark. And a shout out to Sharks in Shirts. Part of the proceeds to any of their purchases goes to help save our oceans. And with that, let me show you why I think for a little under $30, you can have a peace of mind while you're traveling. Let's get into it. All right, folks. So I've laid out for you here the Scornist Anti-Spy Detector User Guide, uh, the product itself, and the Type-C uh, charge uh, charge uh, cable because this does have an internal battery and um, it is uh, it recharges very quick I believe now mine I've only used it twice but I think mine uh, only took about um, an hour now yours might vary based on you know different factors uh, I have mine plugged into a 5 volt um, I think it was a 2 amp and I'll, you may have one or two both will work um, some people plug it into their computer, but if you have a external source for, let's say, a, a um, smartphone or something of that nature, or a USB standard, you can plug into that as well. The user guide is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it does give you the basics uh, as to how the unit works and um, and a, a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, I don't really know as the years go by with uh, these electronic devices if they you know, if they reach out and uh, hit all of the situations you might run into, we all seem to run to the internet when that happens. And I'm sure that by then there's been some common situations that everybody else has been presented with with these devices. But um, I'm just going to review some of the basics on how this works. So you have a power button here and um, you just hold it down and uh, that fires up the unit. Um, it may pick up some cameras uh, that I am running right now. As you can see, it is working. Uh, I have it on a, a high sensitivity, so it's going to pick up what we want. There's two buttons here under these blue lights. You have uh, you, these blue light sensitivity can be adjusted by this bottom. It looks like kind of like a little uh, pill here, but the bottom button, as you keep pushing, adjusts sensitivity. Of, of, um, and well, let's say you go into a hotel room and um, you don't need to detect everything in the world, so you can obviously uh, go low or go high. It has one, two, three, four, five uh, settings, but it will go a little higher, and that just lets you know if you're getting closer to the object or what have you. Um, one push on the power button, and it goes to vibrate. And you can actually see there it's vibrating because it's picking up some of the cameras I have in my studio here. Um, and then it goes back to uh, the beeping indicator. Um, each time you go up uh, per click up to five it increases sensitivity as you go towards the item uh, that that is setting off the signal. Uh, you have uh, I think it's RFD I'm not real sure but um, that's uh, that's pretty much what it's picking up with this antenna. I'm not going, you have three uh, sensor lights uh, on the side, uh, 
on the underside of the unit. I'm not going to point it at the camera to blind you, but this is so you can go around the room and um, or a location that you're trying to find the object that you feel um, is tracking or whatever it might be. And as you go around, uh, it will reflect the device. Uh, if they have a, if it has a uh, um, an infrared detect detection on it or, or what have you, this will pick it up with this um, this uh, this window screen here with this red light and let you know uh, where the item is. That's essentially what this is for. Um, is to uh, find that uh, the lens or what have you and reflect it and you'll be able to, to see it. You also have one at the top and um, essentially um, it, uh, it works the same way up here and um, that's, uh, that's kind of nice uh, to have um, in a time of uh, you know maybe maybe you're not finding anything with this but um, you can use the top button and, and uh, pushing the upper button does that for you there. About four inches um, in length. Uh, I think it's three quarter inch in width and thickness is half inch. Extremely light, easy to slip in your purse or what have you. Um, it does, this is essentially what it includes. Um, the the, the, the uh, statistics uh, are on your little pamphlet here. Um, I do believe they give you some basics as uh, uh, parameters such as the um, uh, frequency range, the gain, and what have you is uh, here on the back. Um, uh, weight, I think they show it as, as uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember, like 20 grams or something. It's super light. I mean, you can't even feel the thing. It's with a motor in it for vibration or whatever it's still uh, still pretty pretty light um, it is uh, like I said 5 volt 1 to 2 amp um, and uh, I think they say the, the range is uh, 5 meters or what have you so and uh, like I said their charging time varies from 1 to 2 and a half hours uh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much uh, all it takes and then this unit's easily done. You can use a power bank, you can use a wall outlet, computer, uh, anything with a standard USB um, plug-in. And uh, you know, let's see, they provide the cable for that. So with that, folks, uh, that's pretty much it for the Scornist a hidden X13 hidden camera detector. Um, I hope that I was able to provide some information on a decision if you just want a peace of mind when you go out and about and are traveling and um, you're looking to have the basics on, on, uh, on how these work. So with that, I do want to wish you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And I hope you're able to get something out of this. If you're having a rough day, don't forget this too shall pass. Take care. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Oh, 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 oh,